Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're going to work on rounding numbers. First, we're going to round numbers on a number line, then we'll try to describe it using a word statement, or describe it in words. Anyway, of course, we can't get started without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? What? Yeah. yeah, you better be. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. We're going to do rounding numbers today, Charlie. All right. Anyway, let's get going here. What we're going to do, Charlie, is we're going to round numbers on a number line first. So, let's start with this number line here. And notice it's labeled from 0 to 20. Okay, that's our scale. And the tens are labeled in red, or colored in red. A 0, a 10, and a 20. 0 does count as a 10. Now, we're only going to be rounding positive numbers in this video. So here we go, Charlie. Round to the nearest 10. On a number line, we'll start with 14. Now notice the 14 is boxed there in the red. And which 10 is it closer to, Charlie? The 10 or the 20? The 10. It's closer to the 10, and therefore 14 rounds to what, Charlie? 10. That's right. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, let's try this number, Charlie. Pay attention. 16 here. Okay, which 10 is it closer to? 20. That would be the 20. And so 16 rounds to what, Charlie? 20. 20. Very nice there. Okay, let's do another one. How about 15? Ooh, now that one's in the middle. Now, which way do you round to? Because notice, the 15 is 5 units away from the 10, and it's also 5 units to the 20. But which way do you round, Charlie? To the right. To the right. That's right. So when it's in the middle, you go to the right. You round up. And so we end up with what, Charlie? 20. 20. Very nice there. Okay. Now, let's do another one. How about this one, Charlie? 4. 4. Where does the 4 round off to, Charlie? 0? To the 0 because it's closer to the 0. Okay, Charlie. How about a 7? 10. Okay, that rounds to the 10. Very nice. And let's do one more. Bring us home, Charlie. Where does the 10 round off to? The t 10. Uh, Okay. I think what Charlie's trying to what? say, what? it rounds off to the 10 because it's right on the 10, right? That's what I meant. Yeah, we know. That's what you meant. What? Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Now, here we are. We're going to round again to the nearest 10, Charlie. Now, we're using a different scale here. It's our number line. And we're going from 0 to that 200 over there. Notice we've only marked the 10s here because we're, we want to round to the nearest 10. Okay, Charlie, let's start with this number 33. Which 10 is it closest to? 30. 30. Very nice. Okay. How about an 86? 90. That would be 90. Very nice. Please continue, Charlie. We have a 45. Remember, it's in the middle, so we round which way, Charlie? To the right. To the right. That's right. And so what do we get? 50. 50. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, now 105. Where does that one round to? Remember, we're in the middle. So it rounds to the right, right, and that gives you 110. 110. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, 186. That rounds to the what, Charlie? 190. Very nice. And the 132 rounds to the 130. 130. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, so let's continue on. Again, we're going to round, here's the number line, but we're going to round to the nearest 100 there, Charlie. Okay, so here's a new scale. Our number line is broken up into increments of 100, and we're going from 0 to 1,000, okay? And so, 43, which 100 is it, close, is it closest to, Charlie? Zero? The zero, yeah, that's right. Now, if it was a 50, remember, 50 would be right in the middle, and so a 50 would round to the 100, but anything less than 50 will round to the zero, okay? All right, Charlie, now, 175, what does that round to? 200. 200. Very nice, Charlie. Please continue. 817 rounds to? 800. 800. Very nice. Let's go to another one here. 705. What does that round to, Charlie? 700. 700. Very nice. How about 550? It's in the middle, so we round which way, Charlie? To the right. To the right. That's right. And so we round to what, Charlie? 600. 600. We're rounding to the nearest hundreds. Don't forget. And now, 375 is closest to which hundred, Charlie? 400. The 400, so it rounds to 400. Very nice there, Charlie. Let's continue on. Now, here we are. We're going to go back and we're going to round to the nearest 10. But notice here, we have a new scale. It's broken up into increments of 10s, but we're starting with 1,000. 
1,010, 1,020, 1,020, until we get to 1,100, okay? Now, let's start with our first number, Charlie, 1,058. Now, which 10 is it closest to? 1,060. 1,060, very nice. Okay, how about 1,025? This one is closest to which one, Charlie? It's in the middle, okay? It's in the middle, so we round which way? To the right, 1,030. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, 1,083. What does that one round to, Charlie? 1,080. 1,080. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay. Now, let's try to describe this process using words. Okay? And this is where it gets tricky here, but pay attention, it'll be fine. Okay, let's go back to our number 1,058, Charlie. Now, pay attention, I'll describe this for you. Now, we're going to round to the nearest 10. So, first, we define which digit is in the tens place. And we should know that's the 5. That's why the 5 is up there in red. Now, what we do is we look at the next digit. Okay, which is the 8. And if the 8 is greater than or equal to 5, you're supposed to round up. And the way this is done is that digit that's in the tens place, which is the 5, is rounded up. You add 1 to get the 6. Now, the digits to the left, you just replace. There's the 1, 0. And the digits to the right of the tens place, you replace with zeros. And there's your answer, 1,060. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, pay attention. Let's do another one here. I'll explain this one for you. Let's go back to the 1,083. Notice the 8 is highlighted in red because that's the tens place. That's the digit we're trying to round to. And we look at the next digit, which is a 3, which is less than 5. Now, in this case, we do not change the 8. We leave it as an 8. The digits to the left, we replace with a 1, 0. And to the right, you replace with a 0 again. And that's your answer, 1,080. There you go, Charlie. Okay, now, let's do some more. Round to the nearest hundred here. Okay, so here's a number. Notice the five is highlighted in red because that five is in the hundreds place. We look at the next digit, Charlie. It's less than five, so what do we do? Leave it alone. Okay, we leave it alone. And so we put our five there. The digits to the left, we replace. And all the digits to the right, we replace with what, Charlie? Zero. Zeros. There we go. So. 10,539 rounds to 10,500. Let's do another one here. This time we're going to round to the nearest 10,000s. Now don't get scared. We should know at this point that that 8 that's highlighted in red is the 10,000s place. Okay? And so, again, we look at the next digit. Since it's greater than or equal to 5, it's an 8, we do what, Charlie? Round, we round up. up. So the 8 will change to a 9. The digits to the left, you just replace the one zero. And the digits to the right, you put what, Charlie? Zero. Zeros. There you go. So there's our answer there. 1,090,000. Okay. Now let's go to our last problem here. The nine. The nine is in the 10,000th place. That's what we're rounding to. Okay. And we look at the next digit. It's a what, Charlie? Eight. It's an eight. It's greater than or equal to five. And so we have to do what? Round up. We have to round up. So notice, we have a 9. Now, when you add 1 to it, it's going to become a 10. So notice, our 9 changes to a 0, but we have to carry over that 1. And again, a 9 and a 1 gives you what, Charlie? 10. 10. We carry over another 1, and 1 plus 9 is 10. And what do we do with the digits to the right? Replace with zeros. Replace with zeros. So there we go. There's our lecture on rounding numbers. Now, we only did positive numbers here. Negative numbers works a little differently. We'll try to do a video on that later. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon.